Right. First off, there's so many things to update, but first, when I was in Japan, I found this really long flag. For those of you who didn't go to Japan with me, didn't follow the journey, I found this huge flag. We had no idea where it was going to go. I bought it because I knew eventually I would have a place for it to go. There's the place. We have a nice, perfect, it's not exactly straight yet, but the other thing that happened today, did they put a new AC? No, they just fixed it. They repaired, it. They repaired the AC. I was under, I have a tweet out there that says they're gonna put in a new one, because I thought they were gonna put in a new one, but fixed it. We're at 72 today. Things are good. It's a little hot out, so I'll, I'll take 72. The internet, we had a saga with the internet. I was told by Cox, Cox is the internet server. This house had not had service in two years, so that there was no connection. Now it's not working. What? Girl, better stop playing. Well, what they had said was there was no connection. So then I called back a couple times. Well, then they said they're gonna send out a technician. Couldn't send out a technician because of COVID. So I wouldn't get internet until at least August. It should be working. Really, it's not? I can't get anything below. Hmm, weird. Well, terrible shooting man. Anyway, it's working. I don't know what's wrong with Alex. But it's only working because I caught them lying. I can discover that they did have internet here in February. So long story short, there's only one outlet in the whole house that actually works. And I found it after much deliberation and switching out modems, lots of, lots of shit. We've lost the bolts to the art table. They're gone for now. Finally, we went to the dispensary. We went to Planet 13 Las Vegas. We are considered local, so we got 20% off, which is still, what, Alex? A lot. Yeah. This shit is expensive as fuck. I'm gonna have to go back to Colorado solely to buy weed. The real kicker, the real kicker here, is that this brand is from Colorado. Probably cost us, what, $30 more than it would back home? $40, like $35 for half a gram. $35 for half a gram. Right, it's expensive. We got wax. Uh, I gotta find the situation out here. I get a discount. What else we got going on? Nothing? Abner's feeling better. We got Omar getting used to the floors. Getting better. Went on a couple of short bike rides, a little 10 milers past couple of days. Now I gotta go set up a podcast room. It's my next mission. Well, we gotta get dinner. We're gonna order out one more night, then we're gonna start cooking. That's our plan. Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. That Mike Tyson weed song. You gonna smoke one of these Mike Tyson joints? A little 87 punch out. Mike Tyson owns a, dispen a weed company. It says they're packed with by hand with precision and care. I really wish that Mike Tyson hand packed each one. These big old boxing gloves. The Mike Tyson pinner. It's not exactly like a real <laughs> adult sized joint, but I'm telling Alex you could burn this down in your hotel room before security gets to the door. It's that tourist joint right here. They should make a weed strain called Tourist Trap. That's what the name of my weed strain is gonna be. I can't get it to focus on the joint anymore. Focus on the joint. It's so small. Fucking camera sensor can't even find the bitch. Damn, Tyson. Why won't you bring it down? Why don't you bring it down? Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Got tricked. You can reverse. You can watch. It'll reverse up. Oh. Did you get any biscuits already? Uh, no, I don't think so. Do you want any? Do you have a dozen or one dozen? Half. We don't need a dozen biscuits. They're little. We don't need a dozen biscuits. They're not that little. How do you know they're little? Oh, yeah, I don't believe it. We're ordering barbecue on our last night of ordering out for a few days. But I will say, every morsel of food that we have gotten has been delicious. Breakfast sandwiches down the street this morning, delicious. Dinner last night from some crazy Mexican place, delicious. Everything, the pizza, oh, 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 so good. The food, the food is so good. Figure out what you want yet? Hungry, how long does it take? Oh yeah, you should have got a dozen for sure. <laughs> I didn't realize they were only two dollars. Mm -hmm. The biscuits. <laughs> are not small. The air conditioner is working great. It's fine, it's amazing. I did go on a bike ride this morning. I didn't record it. I've been doing the same little loop uh, just to kind of get like used to my loop in my neighborhood and figure it out. It honestly takes longer to ride your bike now because I don't know where the fuck I'm going and I keep having to stop. So every ride I've done so far since I've been in Vegas is only like 10 miles. I have way too much shit happening to fucking worry about going like, you know, for hours. But I'll get there. Gotta get all this shit handled. First, putting the house together is a fucking pain in the dick. So the internet, here's the saga of the internet. This house hadn't had internet in years. Found out that was a lie because I called and I got the real story. There's one jack, find that jack. I set everything up. The internet works fine, it works great, it was amazing. Then all of a sudden, we're right back to this shit, which most of you know means the internet ain't working. No idea what's going on, 
No clue. That Cox, that's the name of the internet company, originally told me if they send a technician, he can only be outside. Then someone else told me they don't send him out at all. Like, I can't get any service. Then someone today told me they're gonna send a technician tomorrow. It's just a clusterfuck. But they can't come inside. That's absolutely not allowed because of COVID-19. They cannot come inside. AC guy can come inside. Power guy can come inside. Nobody from the cable company can come inside to see what's going on. So, I probably won't have internet till fucking tomorrow. Bro, it's stressful. I'm just trying to set my shit up and I can't do it because there's no internet, no nothing. This is gonna be the podcast room, which I cannot set up because there's no fucking internet. And I don't have a table. The table that I was gonna put up here isn't able to be put together. That's how my day's going. I'm gonna spend the rest of it doing this shit. What? I have to update the vlog on the internet conspiracy. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I just got back from Cox. I just spent one hour and a half waiting in line in my car for this Cox modem and router because I have a theory. Because the internet did fucking work. I have a theory someone on the inside has it out for me. What we're gonna do, we're gonna plug this in and we're gonna see if the Cox one works. And if so, I think we have a class action lawsuit. Let's go see what kind of bullshit we're dealing with here. I'm even gonna plug it into a different one to see if they're lying. About it only being one connection. These motherfuckers got me fucked up, dog. All right, it did not work. We'll see what we get on this side. It's a conspiracy, a full on conspiracy. The Cox modem works just fine and the internet works, but my modem, which now has all blue lights, almost, won't work still. We're gonna crack this case open today. We're gonna change the world with this information. You hear me, Alex? I hear you. We're gonna change the world with this. Not really. Really what I've done is wasted like eight hours of my life. All that, after the hour and a half at Cox, I finally got them to figure out what they were fucking up with my original router. Now Alex is watching it. Can we not watch it? I uh, I wasted quite a bit of my day. Now I have to take that router back. The thing that was the problem is when I was at the Cox store, the lady says to me, she goes, oh, as she's giving me the router, she goes, I see you have Gamer Elite turned on. Which is a service they offer. That doesn't work with this DocSys modem. I say, okay, take it off. I knew immediately, immediately, when I got home, once they took that shit off, that the other modem would work. As you saw, we tested the Cox modem, we got it to work. Now, the other one works as well. It's uh, 1.30 in the morning. It's over 80 degrees in the house. It's only about 80. <sighs> Two degrees outside. So, we're going to a hotel. A little sick of this shit. Whoa, Mr. Red Eyes. We're at the hotel. We're at the Spring Hill Suites. The AC. We are back at the house real quick, just to check the temperature. 81 degrees, was it set to 73? It feels like a tropical jungle in here. Dogs are in the car right now with the AC blasting. We're coming to pick up some more stuff because we're gonna stay at the hotel now for a couple of days. So we get this figured out, which is a lot of shit I need to do and I can't do any of it. So I'm a little tight, I haven't smoked any weed today. I don't know that that's gonna change anything. Let me grab my stuff so we can get the fuck out of here. I do you love these snakes? It's overhyped, but we're going to the egg slut. So the dogs can walk around because the dogs can be in the Cosmo. This is our plan now. We're basically just like rogue travelers at this point with no home. We're nomads. Even though we're paying for a home. Uh -huh. We are paying for it. Well, we did get a, quite a refund. Let's see where it goes. It's an adventure. You know, we, we moved to Vegas for more vlog adventures. Well, here we go. <laughs> they abound. <laughs> On the road we go. You ask yourself, are we taking a flight somewhere? Do we have someone coming to town? Plans perhaps? Maybe pick somewhere a little more tropical? Maybe we decided to go somewhere that's winter right now. Australia perhaps? No. Alex just decided we we're gonna go to the fucking airport instead of this goddamn Cosmopolitan. It's confusing. It's you weren't not. paying attention at all. I don't have to. No. I'm not driving. My fucking responsibility in this shit is not to not have to pay attention. Look, this California driver did the same thing. I bet you anything they're not picking you up. So I'm trying to find company in your fucking misery. They don't seem to be picking anybody up. Weird. They're just lost, Alex. As are we. They're lost in the airport. Why would you think just some random person did the same thing as you? Time to slip that down. guy's blind. <laughs> He's at least 800 years old, too. Ugh. Back to our regular. 15. Jesus. Just 15. This is where I want to go to the 15. Just pay attention. I am of, paying attention. I feel like I'm in the clueless right now. It was the 85. How hot's the water, mama? <laughs> Oh, come on, pups. Let me get this collar off. I know it's hot, boy. Come on. One doggy, two doggies. We're back 
I have the hat. How's it feeling? It's 80. It's 80? That's only down on four, down four degrees. I mean, it's blowing again. What do you want to do? This doesn't feel like how it felt in here this morning at all. Well, we still have the hotel room. Stop that. If we get hot, we'll go to the hotel room. Hey, fuck it. What are we supposed to do? I don't know. I'm going to get the rest of my stuff out of the car. Get a drink. Count my blessings. Should I tell them what you just did or no? I'm tired. Uh, I'm hungry. Okay. I can't think clearly. The I AC. Did, the AC didn't even get, the AC the last, while we were at the hotel, I basically slept all afternoon to escape the reality that is the hell of my life right now. But, Alex came back here to let the AC people in. They actually did nothing. They did nothing. The temperature has not changed at all. It's 79 degrees. It, they, oh, they got the air moving a little bit in here. So there's like basically like a fan, you know, a fan blowing. Who knows what this is going to cost me at the end of the month. Finally, after calling the AC people back, calling the landlord, who's been great. The landlord, great guy. You know, he's been handling it. It's the warranty. Fucking warranty company. Fuck the warranty. It's trying to be cheap as shit. Coming out here and fiddle dicking around with things. Finally, me, Alex, and Paul, we had enough. Everybody yelled at whoever they needed to yell at. We didn't really have to yell at anybody. Paul is out here yelling in these streets at everybody. Finally, Mr. Chang, I believe is his name, calls. He's gonna come put in a new AC unit. Our landlord says, fuck it, fuck the warranty. I'm putting in a new one. This, enough is enough. We agree. Basically, we said it first, I think. Enough is enough. The new AC guy calls. He's ready to come over and check out and see what needs to happen and is asking about our current condition. And what did you say? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> this girl, I feel like after I going feel like to... Like <laughs> you said, well, it's starting to cool off now. Why would you tell the AC guy who is coming to fix it finally? Why would you express any nonsense of emergency whatsoever is beyond me? Especially since all you've been doing is bitching. Bitching. I've been handling the heat way better than you. Way better than you. you want to hear real talk right Who now? popped down on the bed like Chris Farley last reasons. night to wake me up? I know that you oh. have a tipping point. Oh. I don't want you to get <laughs> Well, you're, so you're at your tipping point because you know no, I have. No, <laughs> No. So this is all no. a <laughs> management. So that's why you told the guy that it's the air starting to blow instead no, of the fact that you're just sitting in front of a fan. That. You're that's sitting in front of a fan. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Alex just says things sometimes. When it's Alex true. order when Alex orders a meal, she stops. Her body goes limp like this. <laughs> you know, just bring me whatever you want me to eat. That's <laughs> essentially how. I, sometimes when she has to contact people, things get a little crazy. It's okay. We still love you. We're waiting on the AC guy. <laughs> the twelfth AC. AC guys since we've been here for a week. What a great time this Seven days, seven AC men. Yeah, we've got nothing done. Here's what my desk looks like. Still haven't found the bolts for the other desk. All right, what's the update? So basically, closes off, there's a vacuum, the air can't flow. Yeah, it builds an ice wall. Stops working again, take a picture of it and show them that it's freezing. That thing's old as shit and it probably needs to be replaced. However, as you said, you can only get to the backyard on that side, mm -hmm. but the AC's on that side. Mm -hmm. There's also a huge tree on that side. The new AC units are like huge compared to that. And to replace it, it's, well, I'll have to charge probably too much because I'll have to hire two more guys to help me just fucking get it back there. It's yeah. a hard fix to replace the AC. Mm. He's like, but that's probably what needs to happen. Stopped the leak out there, you know, should help. And he's sealed some like stuff. It's like, I hope it works for the weekend. But they're gonna put in a new one. Probably, yeah. There's no way Paul's gonna be like, look, let's just keep fixing this now. It's gonna be like, let's replace it. Yeah. I bet Paul replaces it. It's just gonna be a big hullabaloo. All right, well, okay. So it's been a day we skipped. Yesterday, 4th of July, did not vlog. What we did do was go to Ikea. The AC is currently still working somewhat. It's leaking again, right? Current? Well, yeah, it's dripping and the coil that the guy had said to wash for frosting is getting condensated. So we have another fuse before the AC goes out again, basically. But we're also hoping it gets fixed before that happens. Other thing that's happened is, oh, well, we got these tables. Table, table. Trying to set up my computer so I can podcast. I realized I don't have, one, I lost the mounting screws to the display. Don't know how. I don't have some of the cords that I need. Somehow they must have gotten other boxes because some of these cords I can't even get for like two weeks. We're gonna try and figure this out. I don't really know. Another thing that happened is I bought wheels from a bike. We got here. They are not carbon because I was advised against carbon for this terrain. I was told that I would break them and crack them and just overall fuck them up and they're way too expensive to just fuck up. So we got a different wheel from Zip, which we need to go take our bike now to put on. Something else happened. I can't remember what it was. So I'm 
going back. Oh yeah, you're going home or back to Colorado. Yeah. Alex has had enough. I'm out. She's done. AC went out too many times. Actually, we just realized that we left so much stuff in stores that we probably need. And Alex is gonna drive back and go pick that shit up. The weed is so fucking expensive here that it is much more viable for her to take her car, which costs 60 bucks, to Colorado, go pick up our regular weed, get my laser cat, all the stuff that I really like, because this shit out here, it's okay, but the top shelf shit comes from fucking Colorado. So what does that tell you? Currently right this second, I'm gonna go take my bike and get some mounting screws, I guess. Another lovely day, lovely day. Omar, still all about his perch. You know, perched up. Omar's perch, now featuring the toy chest. You're supposed to catch it. Okay, so the air is gonna be really loud right now. It's just gonna have to be, I gotta turn that one notch. Hot as fuck, it's 114 right now. Things are looking up. So I didn't actually lose the screws to mount the computer. I forgot that when Ern put it together originally, he only used a portion of the screw. So I had all the screws, I just didn't realize it. And the bike shop called and they already got my bike done. So I'm actually headed to go pick up my bicycle real quick. Oh, I gotta go charge my car on the way or we won't make it. I'm gonna pick up my fucking bike. Hopefully get to ride it tomorrow. I haven't ridden my bike in like three or four days. It's just, it's so insane. Uh, the new wheels are in the building. The wheels. Ba ba da bow. So I got them zips. So we got zips. I think they're called what? C30s maybe? Yeah, 30. They're not carbon. Uh, like I said earlier, was heavily advised against it, but these these have the look I want, really. The same as the carbon wheel I was gonna buy, they're just a lot cheaper. And Zip is known for carbon, but they made this one. Cause the streets, the streets were demanding it, bro. New wheels, I'm hype, it took a while. So, new wheels on the bike, those are a cool thousand bucks, but that's not nearly as bad. 2,500 per wheel. Can't wait to ride tomorrow. It's been another, another crazy hellacious few days. Still have a lot to do. Drawing station has a lot to be desired. Omar is still on his stoop. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where am I grab this? The uh, podcast room coming together. Got a lot of shit to hook up. Still probably missing plenty of things. It's coming together. We're almost there. We're getting there slowly but surely. That's it for this week. It's fucking Sunday already. I'm out. Peace.